There's been quite a bit of discussion about whether or not it's good to use a shoulder rest, and there are certainly very strong feelings on either side. Um, what I've found is that there's been relatively little discussion about the actual technique of playing without a shoulder rest. And uh, being a person that I've been on both sides, I've played most of my life with a shoulder rest. But then uh, about a year ago, I decided to give up my shoulder rest. Um, and I, I thought it would be useful to sort of chronicle some of the issues that I faced in going restless and uh, some of the techniques that I've used to, um, um, to play without a shoulder rest. So first off, I wanted to maybe talk a little bit about the reasons why I decided to give up a shoulder rest. Now, if you're using a shoulder rest and you're happy with it, I wouldn't suggest that you make any changes. I'm just discussing some of the issues that I personally faced. Um, so this is a standard uh, Kuhn um, shoulder rest. I think uh, probably a pretty popular one that a lot of people use and uh, clamps onto the violin. And the problem that I had was um, lifting this left shoulder and I found that for me personally, I really was not capable of playing without lifting the shoulder. I found that I became reliant upon having the instrument up and locked in a position so that I could shift freely and uh, vibrate. And I was putting a lot of pressure on the chin and having this left shoulder come up like so. And I just was not capable of playing without lifting the shoulder. I actually uh, had a lot of pain in my shoulder, went to physical therapy, and um, actually was able to overcome a lot of the pain issues, but still I had a lot of tension and I feel like the tension was kind of permeating into my playing, it gave me kind of a tense sound, my vibrato was tense, it uh, didn't have the amplitude that I wanted because I, my fingers were um, too tense and you need to really, to, to be able to get a good amplitude on your, on your vibrato, you need to have these fingers loose and um, be able to, to wobble them like so. So that's the reason why I um, decided to give up a shoulder rest. Now, at some point in time, I may go back. It actually is a lot easier to play with a shoulder rest because the violin sits up and you don't feel like you're ready to drop it. And it really is easier to shift. You don't have to worry so much about supporting the instrument. You can move up into high positions and, or shift up and down and vibrate. But um, again, for me, as soon as I put on a shoulder rest, I feel this left shoulder going up. And even now, um, playing about a year without a, sh without a shoulder rest, I still have that uh, temptation to sort of um, lift up this left side and cause a lot of tension in my playing.